gonna do yeah. for the last 20 years. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Since the bombshell leak of the draft of the Supreme Court decision that would overturn Roe v. Wade, scenes like this have been taking place all over the country. But this one was put together to send a direct message to one person, Senator Chuck Schumer. Chuck Schumer is a man of talking and not a man of fighting. Talking the talk is not enough. What we want is him to fight the fight. Women of all ages gathering outside Schumer's home, some even bringing their infant children along. Lisa Raymond Tolan is part of the group Indivisible Nation BK, one of the organizers of the rally outside the senator's Brooklyn apartment building Wednesday evening. Democrats have been fundraising off abortion rights and the right to choose for my entire adult life, and it's time for them to use their majority and do something about it. Brittany Ramos de Barros is running for Congress. Schumer, who made a commitment to make sure that there was a vote so that we could move forward on codifying the protections of Roe v. Wade via legislation, but he hasn't given us a timeline yet. Schumer is one of the most powerful Democrats in the nation. Pro-abortion activists feel he needs to do much more to protect women's reproductive rights and to follow through on his promises. They want the Senate Majority Leader to do three things. We need to expand the court, we need to abolish a filibuster, and we need to codify Roe into federal law. Uh, there really is it's no time to wait. For these women tonight, time is of the essence. What this court is doing is profoundly undemocratic. It represents minority rule. But passing a federal law to protect abortion rights may not be that simple. The Democrats have a razor thin margin in Congress, and codifying Roe would take 60 votes in the Senate, which they simply don't have. Now, to get around the 60 vote minimum, they would need to overturn the filibuster. They likely would not have enough votes for that either.